Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a very, very exciting video. I was not planning on filming today. And then this gorgeous little box decided to show up on my doorstep today. Um, and I'm sure if you guys cannot tell by the video, this is my Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration for the Skin Perfecting Powder uh, Champagne Pop, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably heard a lot about. The second this came, this was available on Sephora, I ordered it and it is now here. So I thought that I would do a like first impressions, like I have not, like the tape is still there, I have not opened this box yet. First impressions, demo, and review kind of all rolled into one. I have four highlighters sitting here in front of me that I'm going to be comparing it to. So you guys can take a look and see what color it really is like. But yeah, I'm very excited to do this video. We are gonna go ahead and bust into this baby. I am so excited. Let's go. Okay, so here is, ah, it's so ready. So here is my order slip and ah, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so on the front it says Becca and Jaclyn Hill. You guys can see it says Becca and Jaclyn Hill on it. And then on the back it has her face and then a little bit about her. That We're gonna go ahead and bust into this baby. Ugh. All right, and it has the same packaging as all of the regular ones, um, except it does say champagne pop. You guys will not be able to see that, um, but it does say champagne pop. Let's open it. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so, oh my god. <laughs> I normally don't keep these, but I definitely will. You guys probably will not be able to see it, but it says uh, Becca and then Jaclyn Hill on it. So I'm going to just pop this in to here to keep that safe. But, oh my, oh my god, so that is the color. <sighs> Alright, let's do like a, a swatch, a first time. <gasps> oh my god. It's so pretty. Oh, and it's so creamy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That's so pretty. Okay, so the texture is def definitely is just as creamy and just as beautiful as the as the other ones, as the ones that uh, Becca came out with. I am going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put it on and see what it looks like. So I have my Morphe M556 brush here, which is what I always use for highlighting. So we're gonna take some on the brush, pat it off a little bit. And here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so... Highlight on fleek! <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so pretty. I love it. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> here we go. So we have Moonstone here. Champagne pop in the middle and opal on the left. So as you guys can see, um, Moonstone is definitely more of a like off-white vanilla shade, while opal is much more of like a pinky rosy tone, and Champagne Pop in the middle is definitely that more bronzy gold shade. So we've got those three right there. So the first one is opal. That's what's right there. Then we have Champagne Pop and Moonstone. So as you guys can see, like I said, Moonstone is much more of a white. Um, Moonstone is much more of a white. Opal is much more of a pink. And Champagne Pop is just that beautiful, happy in the middle gold shade. And we're a little bit closer, so again, did not do a lot of makeup for this, so my face does look a little bit red, but that highlight, look at that, like, 
But then I wanted to show a couple more just to kind of give you guys an idea. So I'm also going to, going to swatch um, Mary Luminizer. And this might be weird, like why would you swatch this? But I just want to see. We're going to swatch it right here. And Mary Luminizer looks almost like a happy combination between Champagne Pop and Moonstone. Can you guys see Mary Luminizer is right there. And then just for like, just for kicks, I also got my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette because I wanted to see if any of these were similar. So it's not on the same intensity level. So it's definitely not exactly the same. This is Champagne Pop right here. And this one is, I think that's dim light, but it's the one that's right here in the palette. So when you're looking at it, it's the, it's the one on the right. Um, they're not exactly the same, but that, this dim light, which I think is what it is, is actually, I think, the closest to Champagne Pop, but you can see there's definitely more of an iridescence and just a glowiness that does not compare between the two of them. Like, ah! <laughs> I just don't really know what else to say besides Champagne Pop is absolutely beautiful. And Jaclyn Hill, like, round of applause to you. You did, you came out with such an awesome product and it is beautiful and unique. And I am so excited to add Champagne Pop to my collection. So I now have three. And I think that everyone should grab it because it is absolutely beautiful. But yeah, so pretty much A++++++ Jaclyn Hill. You came out with a beautiful product. Thank you for sharing your talents with us and making something like this possible for us. That's all I have for you guys. Um, so I definitely recommend for everyone to go pick this up. It's beautiful. You will definitely, it's definitely worth the money. You will not be wasting your money by any means of, of the imagination by purchasing this. And yeah, that's all I really got for you guys. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this afternoon, today, tonight. What time is it? Yeah, it's 10:10 it's 10, 10 at night. And I have work tomorrow morning. Ugh, but yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and uh like this video if you enjoyed it uh subscribe for more i'm gonna be hopefully having a lot of videos coming out some more soon and yeah i will see you guys next time <gasps> goodbye <laughs> bye guys